And of course I ran out of space, so I had to do some stuff. Um, soldier, female sovereign. Maybe that's that's probably what we want to do. Yeah, let's do that. Backstory. We can have one written, but uh, let's make sure we get our name right. Citra. And oh my god, I can't just like control. I can't can't control like just god oh, just can't wipe it out. Uh, excuse me while I delete this wall of text brick by brick. Alright. Citra was born into greatness. Bow down and kiss her toes. That's... yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take combat, enchantment, mobility. I'm gonna take all the spell books because they're really important. Uh, I think I like prestige. That's pretty much like uh, your influence in other games. Uh, let's see. That's pretty cool. Merchant. That's also nice. Warlord. I don't think that's actually worth it. Ooh, production of mines. Hum. Hum hum. Hmm. Well, she's going to be more of a caster type. Let's see, those two are really nice. That's nice too, actually. That's just initial attacks. Oh, I don't know. They're all so nice. I suppose I could pick two. I suppose I could pick that one and that one. Oh, I can only pick one. Oh, bummer. Well, I really like... I'm going to be a merchant. Yeah, I like more gold. Um, so since we're going to be mostly a caster, I'm going to raise the intelligence up to its max. I'm gonna raise the constitution. Oh man, that's expensive. I think we'll raise it to 12. So that's kind of passive. I can do that with other things. That's not a big deal. Proves dodge. Maybe two dodge. I'm not really gonna be meleeing much. I'm mostly going to be casting. The rest of hit points. Um, okay, so I think. Oh, yeah, I've got talents. <laughs> so you can actually take. You can basically take some weaknesses to get some points. So you can take a lot of weaknesses, I think. So you can. You can be a cowardly, clumsy, blunt, ugly, reckless, stupid, insane, and ineffective efficient leader. Kind of like some of the presidents we've had. <laughs> Not social commentary, just saying. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't think I want to handicap myself that much. I don't... Is this or... Some of these are kind of nice. I don't think there's any game killers to actually grab any. Oh, wow. Hmm. This costs 10. So if I take... I still don't have enough. I have to take a constitution point. Oh, wow, and I still wouldn't have enough. How much are these worth? It's not really worth that much. You know, I think I'm gonna skip... I'm gonna skip the talents. They're nice, but I don't think it's worth hampering my other abilities. So, uh, this is where we get to pick our little, like, pose and everything. Let's see. 
Wow, some of these are just... Scowly, growly. That one's okay. It'd look better if I had something in my hands. See, I like that background. Is there like a castle or something, maybe? Hmm. Herp de derp, that works. Uh, let's see. Uh, enter a quote. Oh, God. Um. To infinity and beyond. Because I can't think of anything. <laughs> so I think uh I think we'll be the Capitar. I know there's some cool stuff down here with the evil races. And trust me, we'll be evil. We'll just be evil in a human way. And that will be pretty much with uh Yeah. Alright, so I'm fine with all of these sims except the Paradin. I really hate the Paradin. Um They tend to they're really they Get, they get settlements up really fast, and they're very expansionistic, and they annoy me. It, it really annoys me in these kinds of games when people just kind of ninja your stuff. So I think we'll put Craxis in to compens- well, that's six. That's a lot of sieves. Let's just go ahead and play. <laughs> Uh, of course, I couldn't get a. <sighs> I couldn't get a good. Uh, you can pause this and read it if you'd like to. The game I had before this, it was kind of a test game, had me like right on the edge of what looked to be like a big ocean, and now I'm in basically pretty much in Arctic tundra, which kind of sucks. So, I'm actually going to move over here, put my colony here, I think, because uh, uh, this dude, we can add him to our team, and he's kind of our first hero unit, only he's basically a tutorial guy, and he's really annoying. So we're going to use him to auto excuse me, auto-explore. And I'm going to go ahead and found the kingdom. Uh, as I said in the other video, um, I'm just going to call it this land for now. And you can type in a suggestion and I will name it that. So this land should be called this land. This guy right here is Fire Shard. Um, you can claim these. And basically, you can increase the power of spells that use the associated elements. So they're good to have, but I can't use them yet, so there's no point in building close to it. And these are areas where I can build farms, which are really important. So let's explore down this way. I think I saw a pond or something. Oh, hi. Guy running away from me. Although I suppose I should have... Okay. So, we need to go ahead and build a farm here. So that's going to help our growth. I can't talk to this guy yet. It's an adventurer. I'd actually like to have another unit to run around with. If 36 Gildar will be willing to join you. Oh, she's cute. Yeah. <laughs> So I think I can stack these guys. Let's see, can I? Yeah, now I have an army. I've got two people. And you get to auto explore. So have fun there, Janusk. Janusk, however you say his name. Abandoned caravan. 
Wow, there's all kinds of stuff around here. These like little kind of areas where you can get items and random things, so it's pretty cool. Plus five materials. Basically want to go and grab all these you can. Hey, look! That's the coast. So, if I don't already, I'm probably going to expand out this way so I can build a harbor here. And I don't have any research, I guess because I- oh, I don't have a city founded. No spells learned, I suppose because we haven't researched any, maybe? I'm going to have him go and grab that real quick. And that's time, so next time we do more exploring and get some more loot. <laughs>